Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning, good morning uh, sa lahat ng uh, mga anak ng Diyos na ngayon ay nanunood sa ating pong uh, FB Lives. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, Philippines. Good evening sa lahat ng mga nasa um, US, Canada, and uh, good morning, early in the morning sa iba't ibang part naman ng uh, Europe at Middle East. Praise the Lord. This is a wonderful day. Uh, ngayon ay uh, GCQ na tayo, but still, uh, we are not allowed to have a uh, uh, mass gathering. Uh, so, as usual, uh, the, the praise and worship ay... Uh, ito, ito. We really miss the worship, but we are in the church right now, and we are doing this... Uh, You know, we really miss, we really, sobra namin na miss ang worship. Praise God. But anyways, allow me to speak to you today. Ang ating pong topic ngayon is about the uh, uh, courageous. Yung pagiging uh, matatag, magiging matapang. Ayan. Praise God. So, before I'm gonna pray for you, please uh, join me and read with me in the book of Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1. Again, Proverbs 28, verse 1. The wicked man flees, though no one pursues. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. Praise God. God will be the one to bless His word. Dito po niyo makikita na kung papano ang mga masasama ay tumatagbo mas kinawala pong uh, tumatakas sila mas kinawala humahabol. Pero ang mga matutuwid daw ay... Uh, Uh, malakas ang loob nagkatulad ng isang leon yan kaya i want to uh, uh, to uh, get your attention this time this is a very important topic about courageous courageous you know how much courage do you have gaano ba kalakas ang loob mo okay would your friends co-workers and family members call you courageous person Ganyan ba ang tawag sa'yo? Lakas ng loob niyan. Matatag yan. Alam niyo, sa dictionary, dinipuhin sa ang courage na tulad nito, the ability to face and deal with dangerous or difficult situation. Sa Tagalog, kakayahang harapin at tuusin ang panganib sa anumang sitwasyon. Yan ay ibig sabihin po ng Courageous. Alam nyo, mayroon po kayong makikita doon na dalawang part. Na ang sinabi yung the two parts ay uh, first, to face, at yung isa naman is to deal with. To deal with. Alam nyo, napakahalaga na ang isang tao marunong humarap, marunong siyang humarap sa anumang mga pagsubok, at kung paano din po niya tuusin ang lahat ng mga bagay na ito. Iba po kasi yung matapang na sa walang na walang lugar, nagtapang-tapangan po yun. Iba naman po yung tinatawag na full of courage. Alam nyo, it is interesting to read the modern writers na minsan ang sabi po ng mga modern writers, ang sabi, uh, one of the often uh, quote ng marami ay yung sabing, courage is fear that has said its prayers. At sabi naman po ni uh, uh, General George Patent, dinipendin po niya yung courage. Ang sabi, courage is fear that holds on for one more minute. Yun. Yun po yung sabi niya courage na wala ng pag-asa, pero mas kinisa minute noon na lang, hindi siya bibigay. At sabi niya, sandali, kaya yan, maski one minute na lang. Yan ang tinatag na courage. Sabi naman ni Franklin Jones, courage is the ability not to let people know how scared you are on the inside. Ito po yung courage na hindi alam ng marami, takot ka na, kinakaban ka na, pero ikaw pa rin ay gumagawa. Hindi nila alam yun. Yan. Courage. Nasubukan nyo na ba na magkaroon ng kaba? 
kinakabahan kayo sa umarap na naharapin ang mga pagsubok. Nagkakaroon ba tayo na iba't ibang klase ng takot din kung magaganap ba itong plano or what? So, there are so many fears. So, ganun din po ang sinasabi ni Captain uh, Riden Bakher. Ang sabi niya ganito, Courage is doing what you are afraid to do. Yun. Ang isang courage o ang tapang lakas ng loob ay gagawin mo isang bagay na na mahirap gawin o takot mong gawin dahil natatakot ka. Naalala ko ang isang frontliner ng uh, COVID-19. Nung narinig nila na isang taong ito ay may COVID, itong mga frontliner na to, lalo rin tigit yung tinutukoy ko ay takot siya. Saan baka ako'y mahawaan? Naku, anong gagawin ko? Pero nasa puso niya, kailangan gumaling yung pasyente. Kaya't ang kanyang ginawa, nilakasan niya ang kanyang loob. Ang sabi niya, naawa ako, kailangan kong gawin ito, at ito ang sinumpaan ko sa, sa aking Diyos at sa aking, uh, aking bansa, sa gobyerno. Kaya wala akong choice kundi gawin ito. So puno siya ng takot, pero malakas ang kanyang loob na kailangan gawin niya ito. Kaya maraming mga tao ay naligtas, gumaling dahil sa kanyang lakas ng loob. Pero yung mga tao pala na sobrang hina ng loob, umaayaw kaagad po yan. Sila po ay nagkakaroon lagi ng purong takot na overwhelm sila ng fear. Then, what to do or what do these things uh, have in common? Yan. Anong mga bagay na pwedeng makatulad ng mga ito? Una ay uh, mayroon pong apat na bagay na dapat yung makita dito, yung pagiging brave in the face of danger. Brave in the face of danger or tapang naharapin ang panganib. Ikaw ba ay matapang para harapin ang panganib? Pangalawa, steadfastness in the face of opposition yung buong tapang na harapin ang kalaban. Yon. And number three, action in the face of resistance. Yung action na harapin ang mga salungat. At yung pangapat naman ay optimism in the face of despair. Or puno ng pag-asa, pag-asa sa harap ng kawalan ng pag-asa. Ang ganda nun. Alam nyo guys, sa totoo lamang, dahil sa lakas ng loob mo, nagagawa mo na harapin ang mga bagay na sa tingin ng iba'y nakakatakot, mahirap harapin, mahirap gawin. Kapag nauna pala na ang takot sa puso ng tao, siya po ay hindi lang nangihina, kundi siya ay wala nang magagawa. That's why we need to face fear through our uh, through our uh, courageousness yung pagiging courageous mo so the first one say i won't be afraid di ba sabi nga nung una dito ay tapang na harapin ang panganib kaya ang sabi niya doon i won't be afraid hindi ako natatakot at yung pangalawa naman ay sinasabi niyang i won't give up hindi ako bi, hindi ako bibigay i won't give up yung pangatlo naman dyan, kung pasinin ninyo, sabi niya, I won't be intimidated. Hindi ako may intimidate ng sino man. At sabi naman ng pangangapat ay, oh, I won't lose heart. Hindi ako mawawalan ng, ng, uh, ng, 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 ng takot. Sabi, I mean, hindi ako mawawalan ng, uh, ng lakas ng loob. Yan. So guys, It's really amazing. Sapagat sa Bible, ay may kita natin sa book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6 to 9, yung word ni Lord kay Joshua na, Joshua, be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. So be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the laws my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. 
At ang sabi ng verse 9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Ito yung maganda, kaya pala kinausap ng Diyos si Joshua na huwag kang matakot, kundi magpakatatag ka, na dalhin ang mga taong ito sa lupang pangako. Kaya sinabihan pala ng Diyos si Joshua ng ganoon sapagkat kinakabahan po siya. Ang isang bagay na ikinakabahan niya ay yung si Moses hindi nakarating sa promised land. Dahil nainis na siya, nagalit na rin siya sa sobrang, uh, sobrang uh, uh, tigas ng ulo ng mga Israelites. So, kinausap ng Diyos direkta na si Joshua. Sabi ng Lord sa kanya, Joshua, magpakatatag ka. You have to be strong and very courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land. Yun ang nagpatatag kay Joshua. Sinaba, sinabihan siya ng Panginoon na, okay, I'll be with you. Kung paano ko sinaman din si Moses, yes, I will go with you. Kaya do not turn to the left or to the right. Meaning, focus. Ang isang tao na courageous, nakafocus siya sa pinagagawa ng Diyos sa kanya, nakafocus siya kung ano ang kanyang plan sa buhay, kung ano ang kanyang uh, uh, destiny, kung ano ang kanyang pinaplano. You need to have a focus in life. Because pag nadifocus ka, then you cannot reach your destination. Or pag tumingin ka sa kaliwat kanan mo, madidiskaril ka. Especially nowadays. Sobra ang takot ng maraming tao. Even ang our government are full of fear because of the COVID-19. Nakakahawa. Noong narinig nila na ang COVID-19 na ito, ang coronavirus ay, uh, ay uh, na, nakakahawa ito, then nilockdown nila ang buong, uh, buong bansa, nilockdown nila ang buong mundo, and this is what we are always discussing now. But I want to tell you this. If you are a Christian, you have Jesus Christ in your life, you, will, you must stand like a Joshua. Dahil yung word ni Lord kay Joshua, ang siya rin word ni Lord sa ating lahat. That we need to be strong and be very courageous. Kaya ang word po dito, be strong and be very courageous. Do not be terrified. Ni huwag kang matatakot. Dahil pag natakot ka, then matidiscourage ka na, then the Lord uh, will not go with you. Why? Because lack of faith. Magkukulang ka na ng iyong pananampalataya. I remember book of Psalm 27, verse 1 up to 3, The Lord is my light and my salvation, sabi ni David. Whom shall I fear? Kung si Lord ang aking liwanag at ang aking tagapagligtas, kanino ako matatakot? The Lord is my strong of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Kung siya ang aking tanggulan, tanggulan siya ng buhay ko, kanino pa ako matatakot? Sino mananakot sa akin? Okay, so, when, my, when evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Ito yung deklarasyon ni, ni David bilang isang courageous man. Na pag inatak daw siya ng mga kalaban niya, they will fall. They will fall. Though an army besiege me and my heart will not Uh, my, my, my heart will not fear. Ang ganda yung word niya dito. Ko, nandiyan dyan ang aking mga kaaway, lalabanan nila ako, i-attack nila ako. Uh, pero ang puso ko ay hindi kailan mo matatakot. Though war break out against me, even, even then will I be confident. Confident pa rin. Kaya alam niyo po yung tao na laging... Uh, laging umaasa sa Diyos at naniniwala sa salita ng Diyos, siya talaga yung magtatagumpay. Naniniwala ko na maraming tao na matay sa pamagitan ng COVID-19 dahil sa, dahil sa nawalan na sila ng pag-asa. Hindi sila lumaban. At ganun din naman, yung mga tao, na mga, front, mga, mga ibang frontliner, hindi, nahawaan na rin dahil parang nawalan na rin sila ng pag-asa na Nako, overwhelming na ang ating pasyente, wala na tayong magagawa. No, I tell you, only God can cure the victims ng coronavirus. Kung siya ay nagpapagaling noon, siya rin ay nagpapagaling ngayon. Kaya, do not be afraid. 
uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, ang sabi niya, but God did not give you spirit of timidity or fear, but spirit of power, love, and self-control. This is the inner being anointing that God has given by God to every believer. He did not give you spirit of fear, but spirit of love, power, and sound mind. Kaya kung ikaw ay isang Kristiyano matatakotin, ay sandali, that is contradict sa sinabi ng Diyos sa kanyang salita na para sa'yo. Stand up. Don't be afraid. Kaya mo yan. Why? Because the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Tingnan niyo po yung sinasabi ng verse, John chapter 4, verse 18. Ang sabi niya, perfect love drives out fear. Yung perfect love drives out fear. Do you love the Lord? Then, the Lord is with you. So you can cast out fear. You can cast out fear. Alam niyo ba na sa Bible, ay marami pong ginamit ang just dito na word na fear not. Kama sabi natin, fear not. Huwag kang matakot. Alam niyo ba sa King James Version, there are 365 times na nabanggit ang salitang fear not. Why? Sapagkat ang fear not na yan, that is your everyday vitamins, everyday dosage mo, na hindi ka dapat matakot sa mundong ito. Every day, the Lord gave you the word fear not. Kaya nga, 365 times itong binigay ng Diyos sa Biblia na siyang iyong ititake sa buhay mo wherever you go. Huwag kang kailanman gagawa sa buong maghapon na hindi ka nag-take ng the word fear not. Bakit? Every day is a battle day. Every day nakikibaka ka. Kaya if you are full of fear, you will be overwhelmed by fear, then you will lose on the, on, on the, in the end of the day. So, paano kung araw-araw nakalimutan mo na yung word na fear not? So, every day defeated ka. Every day talunan ka. Kaya this is God's instruction to all of us. Fear not. Come on, tell to yourself, fear not. Mention your name. Art, fear not. Until the person next to you, fear not. Ngayon, ang dami kang narinig ngayon na negative. Negative. Kailan ba magkakaroon ng uh, worship service? Mass gathering. Maraming natatakot ngayon. Paano na? Ang iba naman ay sa, we, you will receive uh, a vaccine na ang tatak nito ay 666 or whatever. I'm, we're going to discuss that uh, sa darating na mga araw. Alam niyo mga minamahal, sabi ng iba, malapit na dumating si Lord nakakatakot. No! You must be excited sa pagkadarating na si Lord, tapos na ang paghihirap sa mundong ito. Dapat tayo na mga Christians are excited to meet God in the air. Hindi yung pag narinig mo ang rapture ay nakakatakot, baka, baka ano, madat ng patay ng, uh, ng Antichrist. Nothing to fear. God gave us a security. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He will take us in this evil world and He will spare us from the tribulation. That's why you must, you must be excited. That must be the heart of being a Christian. Excited ka na, hey, darating si Lord, praise God. Tapos na. So nothing to worry about. Pero kung ikaw ay Christian at natatakot ka na darating na si Lord, parang hindi ka Christian at parang sinasabi mong hindi ka makasama sa rapture of the church. So if you really believe that you belong to God and you are qualified to be ruptured by God, then what will, what, what will be your reaction? You must be excited. You must be excited. Praise God. So uh, let us uh, go to our discussion now. I want to give you four steps of dealing with fear. Paano ba natin i-deal ang fear? These four steps will help you move from fear to faith and from cowardice to courage. Again, these steps will help you to move from fear to faith. Sabi natin muli, fear, faith. So itong katuruan ito, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ka mawala sa anumang takot at ikaw ay mapapapunta sa paranampalataya. Mula sa pagiging duwag, sa pagiging matapang. 
Okay. Number one is, remember your position. Remember your position. Are you a Christian? Is Jesus Christ with you? Napansin niyo yung pong text natin. The Bible says in Proverbs 28 verse 1 again, The wicked flee when no one pursues. Ang mga masasama daw, ibig sabihin, unbeliever, ito po yung takbo ng takbo, tumataka sila, mas kinawalang humahabol sa kanila. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Pero yung mga matutuwid, abay, mati, matapang sila at parang leon, walang kinatatakutan. Yan ang inintulad ng Diyos sa mga taong matutuwid. Wala silang takot. Punong-puno ng tapang. Kaya the righteous are bold, not the wicked. The wicked are scared to death. E sa atin, eh, ano man ang mangyari, mag-rapture, kasama tayo sa rapture. Dumating man yung physical death natin, sa langit din ang punta natin. We are secured in the hands of God. Praise the Lord. So the first step to courage is to remember who you are in Christ Jesus. Ito po yung unang hakbang. Kung bakit ikay dapat na maging matapang o matatag? Dahil ikaw ay na kay Kristo. So remember who you are in Christ. To remember that in Christ, you are strong, victorious, accepted, justified, redeemed, saved, completely forgiven. That is your stand as a Christian. That's your stand as a Christian. Kaya hindi ka dapat manghina. That is your position. Okay? You are, that is your position. Again, I repeat, that you, to remember that in Christ, you are strong, victorious, accepted, justified, redeemed, saved, and complete forgiven. So, your sins are washed away. Kaya wala kang dapat ikatakot. You are seated with Christ in the heaven list. Ikaw ay nakaupo sa tabi ni Christ doon sa kalangitan. In other words, we are joint heirs with Christ. Yan ang sinasabi ng Romans chapter, chapter 8, verse 17. You are joint heirs with Christ. So you are justified. Ika, ika'y napawalang sala. Therefore, you are righteous. Kaya hindi ka dapat matakot. Yan ang lagi mong ilagay sa isip mo. That is your position in Christ. You are righteous. You are born for courage, not to fear. Ipinanganak ka sa mundong ito at naborn again ka, napuno ka ng lakas ng loob. Hindi ka ipinanganak na duwag. Hindi ka pinanganak na talunan. Ano sabi muli ng 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7? I did not give you spirit of fear, but spirit of love, power, and sound mind. Inuulit ko muli sa iyo yun. Hindi kita binigyan espiritu ng pagkatalo o, o ng anumang pagiging matatakotin, kundi binigyan kita ng espiritu ng pag-ibig, kapangyarihan, at pagpipigil sa sarili. So if you have the spirit of fear, timidity, or anxiety, it didn't come from God. Kaya kung mayroon kang ganun, punong-puno ka ng takot, punong-puno ka ng pangamba, worries, timid ka, hindi galing sa Diyos yan. Hindi yan galing sa Diyos. God does not give to His people a spirit of fear. Wala kang makikita sa Biblia na nagbigay ang Diyos ng takot sa iyo. Ibig sabihin nyo, pagiging duwag. No. Kaya again, 365 times binanggit ng Diyos, fear not. It's your vitamins day. Okay? Daily vitamins, I mean. Praise the Lord. So remember that in Christ, you are strong, victorious. Remember that. In Christ, you are strong, you are victorious, accepted, justified, redeemed, saved, and completely forgiven. So we were born for courage, for bravery, for strength, and to be an overcomer. God has given you his spirit. Kaya nga ikaw at ako ay may spirito ng Diyos eh. Iyan ang nagpapalakas sa atin. Pero kung wala kang spirito ng Diyos, abe, 
uh, talagang dapat ka matakot. Pero if you're a born-again Christian, the Lord has given you His Spirit, His anointing. That's why you are an overcomer. You were not born to be a loser. Remember that. Hindi ka na born again para maging talunan. Hey, are you listening to me? Hindi ka na born again para maging talunan. But you were born to become a victorious. You were born through Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit to be victorious over the problems, struggles, and trials of life. Normal ang mga pagsubok. Nakalagay niya sa Biblia, sa James chapter 1, verse 2 up to 3. Pero ang sabi ng Biblia, if you are encountering various trials, you need to rejoice. Hindi sinabi, you need to cry. You need to uh, be lonely. No, the Bible says, if you are encountering various trials, you need to rejoice. You need to rejoice. Praise God. Because once you overcame, then you will be rewarded. Yan ang gusto ng Panginoon eh. Pinatatatag ng Diyos, matapos kang subukin, lalo kang nagiging matatag. Praise God. Laging mat- nagiging matatag. Alright. So, that is the number one. Remember your position. If you belong to Christ, you are full of courage. Number two. Confront your fears. Ito na. Eh, paano kung kinakaban pa rin ako, Bishop Art? Poy, pumapasok na ganun. Eh, alam mo ba, kinakaban na, etc. I'll tell you this. Proverbs 21, uh, 28 verse 1 again. Balikan natin muli. The wicked flee, no one pursue, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Inulit ko uli yun sa'yo. Kasi, you need to confront your fears. Kailangan mo kasing... Uh, uh, ano eh, pagtagumpayan ang, at harapin ang anumang takot mayroon ka. You will be gripped with fear until you decide to confront it. Tatalunin ka talaga ng takot kapag hindi mo yan hinarap. Harapin mo! Ang pagharap sa takot ang pag apply ng courage na mayroon ka. You understand? Fear will win every day until you stand up. Look that fear straight in the face and say, you are not going to win over me anymore. Harapin mo. At sabi mo, takot, hinaharap kita ngayon, wala kang karapan ng sakit at hindi ka magtatagumpay sa akin. I destroy you. I am a child of God. Confront it. May nananakot, sabi mo sa mga tao na nako, hoy, huwag mo akong takutin. At huwag mo idadagdag yung dati na akong takot. No! I can face you. Trials, they bring fears on you. But you can face all trials because you are, belong to Christ and His Spirit is with you. So, fear will win every day until you stand up. Kaya, hindi mananalo yan araw-araw sa buhay mo kundi tumindi ka lang. By the help of God and with the power of the Holy Spirit, I am going to win against you. Sabi mo sa kanya yon. I'm going to win against you. So I will use this word, you will never win until you rise up. Hindi ka kailanman mananalo hanggat hindi ka tumatayo at hindi ka lumalaban. Confront the things that is dragging you down. Lahat ng yan na nagpapabagsak sa'yo, humihila sa'yo pababa, confront them. Huwag kang iiyak. Huwag mo sasabihin, natalo ako. Naku, natalo ako ng pagsubok. No, stand up. Kaya mo yan. Courage is, not, courage is nothing more than seeing to fear and taking action against it. Naalala ko yung isang uh, asawa ng isang, uh, isang husband. Yung husband ba naman yun ay lagi na nag-worry. Nakarinig lang ng balita, na ano na mangyayari sa buhay natin? Naku, nakakatakot naman yung balita ngayon. Naku, 
Mag- magkakaroon ng taggutom. Naku. Naku. Ano na, wala, baka mawalan tayo ng pag-asa. Nagalit yung kanyang asawa. Ano ka ba? Lagi ka nang ganyan. Lagi ka nang nag-worry. Tumigil ka nga. Stop worrying about that. You're worrying about something that is never going to happen, sabi niya. Masyado kang nag-aalala ng mga bagay na hindi naman talaga mangyayari. And even if it is, if that happen, kung yan naman ay mangyayari, well, we can deal with it when it happens. At iharapin natin. Hindi pa nangyayari, nag-aalala ka na. Kating naman ang katawan mo, bumabagsak. Ang tawag doon ay nervyoso. Huwag kang matatakotin. Fear is a sin. Huwag kang mangamba. Ang tunay na mga anak ng Diyos, tulad ng narinig, narari natin ngayon, na magkakaroon ng tribulation, mag- those are normal kasi nakalagay sa Biblia, pero the Lord already gave us the hope that He will take us away to escape all this tribulation period. You have to be strong. Be of good courage. God has given us a sound mind. Kaya again, sabi na mulo, ni Lord, kay, kay, uh, sa pamagitan ni Pablo, sinulatan niya si, uh, si uh, T- uh, Timothy, uh, God did not give you a spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, power, and sound mind. Pwede ba yung mind mo? Ayus-ayusin mo? Okay. So, God has given us the sound mind so that we can look at our problems. Kapag litong-lito lang isip mo, hindi mo na makikita kung ano, paano isolve ang problema. He's given us power so we can overcome. Ang purpose ng pagbibigyan ng Diyos sa atin ng so that we can overcome. There is no reason for a child of God to be gripped and destroyed by fear. Wala daw pong rason na ang anak ng Diyos ay matalo at at uh, sakmalin ng ng uh, ng takot no courage is nothing more than seeing remember that naalala ko itong si uh, Branch Ricky nung siya po ay bata pa e, si Branch Ricky ay isa po siyang uh, uh, baseball uh, coach meron po siyang uh, meron po siyang uh, isang player na punong-puno ng takot dahil siya lamang, yung player niyang yon ay siya lamang ang kauna-unahang uh, itim sa kanilang team. Natatakot siya baka siya bulin, etc. Natatakot siya baka hindi siya makapagbigay ng best na laro. Alam niyo, Nagsalita ang taong to. Ang sabi niya, alam mo na ako bata pa, I was only 10 years old. First time kong sumakay ng train. Meron din uh, mag-asawa na matanda na, first time din sumakay ng train. So, nandun kami sa parting unahan, tapos, doon sa malayo na yon ay hindi namin makita na yung rilis. Ang sabi ng matanda, nakaw, mamamatay tayo. Sabi niya sa kanyang asawa, honey, mukhang tayo ay uh, ay madidisgrasya na. Eh, narinig ng batang ito. Ten years old. Naku, madidisgrasya daw kami. So, nagkaroon siya ngayon ng takot. And suddenly, bigla ngayong dumilim. Sabi niya, naku, patay. Tapos bigla lumiwanag. Alam niyo? Kaya di siya sabi patay. Tapos yung dalawang matanda ay sumigaw dahil dumaan lang pala sila sa tunnel ng mismong bundok kung saan na doon yung dadanan ng, uh, kung saan yung realist na yun. Hanggang sa pumasok sa kanyang isip yun na hindi naman kami na disgrasya. Bakit kaya nag-usap, nag-usap itong lalaking ito at ang babaeng ito na mamamatay tayo kasi hindi ko na makita ang realist ng train. Mga minamahal, doon pumasok sa kanyang puso at isipan, itong si Ricky ngayon, nasabi niyang, masyadong ahead ang takot ng tao. Nadadamay din ang iba. 
na nakakarinig ng kanilang mga worries. Kaya eh, pwede ba huwag ka na mag-share ng mga worries, yung mga puro takot? Kung mag-share ka na rin laang, ikaw ay mag-share na nakakapagpalakas ng loob. Tulad ngayon, yes, may tribulation. Pero the strength of this, God gave us the promise, tayong lahat ay kukunin niya sa isang kisap mata. And He will give us the crown of life, the eternal life. So, um, we have to fight our, our problems together with tact and common sense. So, you have to comfort your fears. Sabi mo sa yung katabi, confront your fears. So, you think you're going to go over edge? You're never going to know until you get out there and confront it. Kaya huwag kang matatakot. Pagdating mo na lang doon and everything will be fine. Hindi lang yung, nako, parang wala nang katapos ang banging ere. No. Nako, hindi ko na makita ang dulo ng release ng train. Mukha yata ang putulang tulay. Mukhang putol yata. Nako, parang ang bagyong ito ay hindi na yata hihinto. Puro takot. Okay, so that's the number two. You need to confront your fears. Confront it. Kaya ang sabi ni Ricky doon sa kanyang uh, player, you can make it. You can make it. Huwag kang matakot sa hinaharap. Pag nandudun na, saka bibiyang ka ng Lord ng karunungan how to face it. Number three, censor your input. Ano yun? Censor your input. Ito siya. A healthy mind is absolutely essential to getting free from fear. Yung healthy mind is absolutely essential to getting free from fear. Ang Bible ay nagsabi na sa atin, as man's think in his heart, so he is. Kung ano daw po ang laman ng puso mo, yun yun. Neg- <clears throat> there are negative side at saka ng positive side. Papakita ko sa inyo ngayon dito yung negative side sa kanang positive sides. The negative side is that you have to cut the negative people out of your life. Kapag ang mga kausap mo lagi puro na negative, cut your communication with them because they will drag you down. Those who are dragging you down, you need to cut your, your communication with them. Kasi maghahatid lang sila ng pangit na balita eh. Eh, nasising in yun sa inyong mind. Kaya, kailangan mo ngayon na umalis sandali. Kapag puro takot na nasa paligid mo, masusufocate ka, lumayo ka sandali. Listen to the Word of God that will give you courage. Letter B, censor your input so you're not listening to people who are feeding your fears. Kailangan mong madiscern, kailangan mong masensor yung input so you are not listening to people who are feeding your fears. So, anong dapat natin gawin? Let's go to the positive side. Ang positive side is the word of God, the promises. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Ang sinabi niya doon, be not Conform to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Ito yung maganda. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is the positive side. Ito ang tanggapin mo. Magbago ang isip mo at patuloy mong punuin ang isip mo ng mga pangako ng Diyos. Colossians chapter 2, 3 verse 2 Tell us to set our mind on things above where Christ dwells with God in heaven. Hayaan mo na ang ating pong kaisipan ay nakatuon sa Diyos na nandun sa kalangitan na nagbigay sa atin ng pag-asa. Set your mind on things above, not on things uh, of your surroundings, surrounding problems. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 says, Oh, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Kung sa tatagalogin natin, o mga kapatid, 
ang mga dapat la, ito lang ang mga dapat na maging laman ng kaisipan, ang mga bagay na na totoo, mga bagay na karapat dapat, mga bagay na na uh, kapuri-puri, kagalang-galang, kaibig-ibig. Ito mga ilagay niyo sa inyong mga kaisipan, hindi yung puro takot. Kapag puro takot na wala nang mangyayari. Are you listening to me? Guys, anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. Kaya huwag kang magkikinig sa puro negative people. Pag negative people, tatanda kang maaga. Negative, they will, they will kill you. Yan yun. Kaya nga negative, hindi sila makakatulong sa iyo. Ibabagsak ka nila. Kaya get out from all kinds of negative. Ito ang sinabi ng Psalm 119, verse 165. Those who love your instruction have great peace and do not stumble. Yon. Lahat daw po na nagmamahal sa instruction ng Diyos ay may kapayapaan at hindi sila matitisod, hindi sila babagsak. Let us see, this will work for you, but you have to make it work. Ano yun? This will work for you. Put the word of God in your ears and fear will go out to other ears. Ito siya ngayon. Narinig mo ba dito ang mga pangit, mga negatives? At natakot ka? Oh, anong gawin mo ngayon? Pakinggan mo ang salita ng Diyos dito. Hallelujah. Then, yung word of God na yon ay palalabasin niya yung negative dito. Naintindihan ninyo? Put the word of God in your ear and the fear will go out on the other ear. Pumasok ang fear, pasok ka mo naman dito ng word of God, God's promises, then makakas out yon. Yan ibig sabihin. So, fill your mind with the word of God and you won't have time to dwell on the depths of overcoming fear. I repeat, fill your mind with the words of God and you won't have time to dwell in the depth of overcoming fear. Psalm 121, verse 1, I will fill my, heart, my eyes, I will lift up my eyes, I mean, unto the hills where my helps come in. My helps comes from the Lord who makes heaven and earth. Who made heaven and earth. So I've been translation, the maker of heaven and earth. Itutun ko ba ang aking mata sa, uh, doon sa bundok? No. Hindi naman nanggagaling doon ang tulong ko eh. Ang tulong ko ay nanggagaling sa Diyos na gumawa ng langit at ang lupa. Yan ang ating pong helper. Yan si Lord. Kaya wala kay kakatakot, langit at lupa siyang gumawa. E nandito ka sa lupa, siyang gumawa ng lupa. O, di matagumpay ka. Right? Siya lang ang dapat mong sandigan. Kaya put the word of God in your ear. I repeat that. Put the word of God in your ear and the fear will go out to other ear. Now, basahin mo ang Psalm 91. At yan ang magiging vitamins mo din. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress in God whom I shall stay. So, doon ka mag stay I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress in God whom I shall stay. I will not be afraid of the 10,000 people who are against me round about. Arise, Lord, save me, O oh my God, for thou hast smite, smited my enemies upon thy cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord is and blesses upon His people. So, now let me give you know, number four. The last one, cultivate your love. Ano yung number three kanina? Sensor your input. Kaya, ingatan mo lagi ang pinakikigyan mo. This time, cultivate your love. Ito yun. You have to live in such a way as if the fear didn't exist. Mabuhay ka daw na sa buhay na walang takot sa paligid mo. Isipin mo yon. 
Bakit? 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible says, Perfect love cast out fear. Pag puno ka ng pag-ibig, then that love will cast out fear. Wala kang dapat ikatakot. May mga tao ba nagbabanta? Pag full of love ka, maraming magmamahal sa'yo. Pag full of love ka ni Lord, alam mo din na iingatan ka ng Panginoon. You can either have the love of God or you can have fear generated by Satan. But you can have them both dominating your life at the same time. Isa lang. You, are, you must have the love of God. And the fear generated by Satan can be casted out. Dalawa lang naman eh. Kaya kapag nanaig ang fear sa'yo, then bumaba ang love ni Lord. Bumaba, bumaba din ang love mo kay Lord. Kaya, mangibabaw lagi ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon and let this fear be casted out. Now, how to apply what we have learned today? By the way, check your heart if you are really full of love. If you are in love with God, no fear. If you are full of love for people, nothing to fear. Nandiyan dyan sila na makakasama mo. Na patuloy, na susuporta sa'yo. So let us, up, how to apply this? Either fear will push the love out or the love of God will push the fear out. How do you do that? Letter A. Pasalamatan mo ang Diyos. Thank God for the thing that is causing you to fear. Ano yun? Kapag mayroon pong mga takot at pangamba sa paligid mo, pasalamatan mo ang Diyos dahil may apply mo na ang courage, lakas ng loob, tatag ng, tatag ng loob na mayroon ka. Praise God. So, have you ever done that? Nagawa na ba yun? Thanking God for the very thing that is causing you to fearful? Parang mahirap yata yon. Kasi minsan sinasabi, Lord, ayaw ko po itong narandaman ko ito, puro ako takot. Lord, ayaw ko po ito. Uh, ah, hindi ko deserve ang mga bagay nito. But I thank you for sending it to my life. Dapat nga, pasalamatan mo. Normal po ang mga takot. Excuse me. Normal ang takot na dumarating, ngunit yan ang application ng courage na mayroon ka. Kaya nga may courage kasi may fear. If there is no fear, there will be no courage. Remember that. Let it be. List the blessing, list the blessings that have come into your life because of the thing that you fear so badly. Alalahanin mo, tilista mo yung mga pagpapalang tinanggap mo mula sa Panginoon. Na sa kabila ng mga takot na nandiyan dyan, still you are being blessed. Ilista mo yon para matabunan ang anumang fear sa pamagitan ng kabutihan at blessing ng Diyos sa buhay mo dahil na-overcome mo. Kung na-overcome mo yun noon, ma-overcome mo din lahat ngayon. Kaya ilista mo ang lahat ng blessings na mayroon ka. Each day, share one of those blessings with one other person. I-share mo din ito. Kasi, kailangan silang ma-encourage din. Kailangan maramdaman nila na may, mayroong Diyos pala. Pero kung Christian ka, na full of fear ka at lagi ka negative, then magiging defeated ka. Kaya mga kapatid, yan ang ibig sabihin ng courage. Na in-encourage ko kayo, magpakatatag kayo, pagpakalakas kayo. It is facing a dealing with the impossible situation of life and is still believing in God, is still rejoicing in His goodness. Sobrang bait ng Diyos eh. Kaya dapat mong alagaan ang sarili mo ngayon. Sa Lord ka lagi tumingin. Lagi matatag. Pag ikaw ay nawalan na ng courage, then parang tapos na ang buhay mo. At parang na rin sinasabi mong 
you are not saved. A saved person, always optimistic in life. So, uh, I don't want uh, you to add courage kasi meron ka na ng courage. Hindi na kita dadagdagan ng courage kasi meron ka na. Pina-apply ko lang sa'yo ngayon ang lakas ng loob na meron kang galing sa ating Panginoon. God put in you the moment you became a Christian. You became to Christ. You became Christian. Just use the courage that God has given you. You already have the victory in Christ. Now, live in victory. You already have power. Use the power that God has given you. Kaya huwag kang umiyak kapag may pagsubok. Lakas ng loob na mayroon ka ay i-apply mo. At kayo magtagumpay sa lahat ng uri ng buhay. Because Christ is with you. Yan ang courage. It is facing and dealing with dangerous and difficult situations of life. Kaya mo, as God protected Joshua because of his obedience and he's full of courage, Joshua says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Napatunay ni Joshua na ang tao palang punong-puno ng lakas ng loob ay punong-puno ng panampalataya sa Diyos. Sa Diyos lang umaasa at siya'y nagtatagumpay. Magtatagumpay tayong lahat. Ibigay lang natin ating buhay sa Panginoon. At kung dumating yung time na parang walang pag-asa, repent. It's time for you to arise and you will see again your victory. Amen? Praise God. At, uh, at sasabihin natin ngayon kay Lord, Lord, you are amazing to me. Lord, Ikaw lang naman ang pag-asa ko. Your faithfulness, O Lord, beyond our comprehension. You demonstrate your love by offering your blood. You died and rose again to give us life again. Shall we sing the song? This is a beautiful song. Yes. Just sing it now. You are amazing, God, forever. Your faithfulness beyond our understanding. The universe displays by your power. You shine your light into the darkness. You're amazing, God. You are amazing, God, forever and ever. Your faithfulness, O oh Lord, beyond our comprehension. You demonstrate your love by offering your blood. You died and rose again to give us life again. By your compassion, fill me with your power. Mm-hmm. You have given me the strength to rise up. None can stop me, declares your glory. That you are Lord of all the earth you are amazing god forever and ever your faithfulness oh lord your faithfulness beyond our comprehension you demonstrate your love by offering your blood died and rose again. You died and rose again. 
to give us life again. Yes, one more time for the last time. You are amazing, God, forever and ever. Your faithfulness, O Lord, beyond our comprehension. Beyond our comprehension. You demonstrate your love. You demonstrate your love by offering your blood. You died and rose again. You died and rose again. To give us life again. To, to give, give us life again. Sobrang bait ng ating Diyos. Now, people of God, discouragement, fear, must be casted out in your life. Give completely your life to the Lord and trust God. Just say this prayer from the bottom of your heart. Lord Jesus, I trust in you. I'm sorry for all the fears that I have. I'm sorry, Lord, that I doubt. Patawarin niyo po ako sa mga takot ko, sa aking mga nasa paligid, maging sa aking panghinaharap. Lord, I trust in you. Ikaw lang ang masunod sa buhay ko. And thank you, I receive that you have given me the power and the sound mind. That you did not give me any fear. So Lord, I am victorious. Ikaw lang ang maghari sa buhay ko. Thank you, Jesus. I am ch- your child. I am a born-again Christian. I am full of courage. I am victorious in the name of Jesus. Ako na lang mananalangin. Father God, I pray every man and woman who listen to this very moment, bless their lives, oh God. I remove fear in their lives. I cast out any kinds of fear that is in your mind right now and that is in your heart. Even fear sa anumang klase ng uri ng pagsubok. Instead, I am declaring to you, you are courageous. You are full of courage. You are strong. You are healthy. You are victorious. You are healed. You, you are overcomer. You are overcomer in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Even I remove all kinds of bankruptcy sa buhay mo. At sasabihin mong ikaw ay angat sa buhay. Ikaw ay magtatagumpay. Ikaw ay binigyan ng Diyos ng tagumpay. Hallelujah. At pinapadali ko din sa buhay mo ang kagalingan at kalusugan. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You are victorious now. I declare that. Hallelujah. And Lord, protect every one of them who embrace your words today. Thank you, Lord, for the courage that you've given us since the time we became a born again Christian. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Praise the Lord. You are super blessed today. You are full of courage. No more fear in life.